probably going to kill me. Here we have Brian and Kathy Stone, the founders and so, the muscle behind Operation Fancy Free. 7,000 cats, guys. Ain't that something. <laughs> That's wonderful. You started Operation Fancy Free nine years ago. Did you dream that it was a 7,000 cat problem? Uh, no, we did not. Uh, we actually had been working dogs for about 10 years. I knew of a business situation where lots of cats were living on the parking lot. So we just decided we were just going to do something about that situation of cats. So that's how we got started in August of 2013. By the first part of 2014, we realized that there was a lot of cat lovers in this county and people were contacting us. How can we help? Can we give you some money? What can we do to help you guys be successful? From there, we were 501c3 by June of 2014. And from there, it has just went crazy. We never dreamed all of these cats were living on the streets. We didn't dream that people actually did not spay and neuter their cats. So the more people hear about us, the problem became bigger and bigger. So here we are today at 7,007 cats or whatever the final number was for today. Let me figure out what that number was for today. Uh, counting all the fosters, which had been about 750 more on top of that. So. They also got spay and neuter. So while we do have the special cat number 7,000 here today, with all of the cats that we have here today, we're overachievers. We're supposed to have 15, we had 16. We got a call late last night from a business with a cat that was setting off alarms. So we have her today too. So we are up to number 7,013 today. We're very happy about that. It's a great day. You we're guys happy. are rock stars. Thank you, Julie, you are too. Rock we stars. <laughs> all right. So this is official kitten number 7,000 for off. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about how you got the kitten. Um, so my name is Jordan Markham. We're local out of Ravenswood and we've been helping out with the rescue for about a year now. We've taken in several litters of feral kittens. And this is Gypsy. She's obviously a little domestic, um, long, well, she's going to be long haired. She was found by my husband in someone's carburetor at work, just up inside their engine. So was she tame at that point? No, she wasn't tame, but she wasn't 100% feral. Being that little still, it takes them, you know, a little right. bit to get used to you. They're a little spicy. So you're keeping her? Yes, of course. You can't take a cat or a kitten home that little with three kids and expect not to. Gypsy is cat number 7,000. Yay! She's excited. We have um, Tanya here from the Roan County Animal Shelter. She is the humane officer in Roan County. Tanya, tell us what you're doing here this morning. Kathy was willing to spay and neuter some feral cats so we could help with the population in Roan County. And we want to thank Kathy and Brian for everything that they do and trying to help out Roan County residents, you know, get these guys fixed up and took care of. And we appreciate them very much. They've done a lot and continue to work with Roan County. You know, we just can't thank them enough. They're great people. If we have more people that could volunteer to bring over cats and get with Kathy and take care of some of the population in Roan County, it would help out a lot. I mean, we have a lot of programs and sometimes people can't get in those programs. So we ask Kathy to help us out and she does. She's very good at what she does. And we greatly appreciate her and we appreciate Ripley Pulse for all that they do for us. We have to have a village, and Kathy and them has got a pretty good village going on. Oh, wow, that's, that's fantastic. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. This is Dr. Berrickman and Morgan. They have been responsible for most, if not all, of the spay and neuter surgeries for off. I just wanted to interrupt their day for a moment and tell them thank you. And what makes you want to help this population? There are so many of these that run around with little or no care. So to help them and not produce more um, is my goal. So overpopulation, head overpopulation. I can agree with that. Yeah. Yep. Many cats without homes and need care. Mm -hmm. 